Let's take a look at how to solve two problems uh, using the kinetic energy formula. First off, we read problem number one. A cart that weighs 15 kilograms is rolling down a hill with a velocity of 4.2 meters per second. What's the kinetic energy of the cart? Here's our answer, so let's see if we can show our work to find this answer. So we're given the mass of the cart, so it says it weighs 15 kilograms, but I know kilograms is a unit for mass. So the mass is 15 kilograms. <clears throat> the velocity is 4.2 meters per second. And that's all I'm given. What's the kinetic energy of the cart? Well, my unknown is going to be kinetic energy. Well, as I just looked at, I know that the formula for this problem, kinetic energy, mass, velocity, I know that's going to be kinetic energy is one-half mass times velocity squared. Now when I make my substitutions, kinetic energy is going to be one-half the mass, which is 15 kilograms, the velocity, which is 4.2, and then I'm going to make sure I don't forget to square that. Now, when I do my math, I can just plug this into my calculator, and I see that I'm going to come out with 132.3 joules of kinetic energy. And that is the solution for this first problem. Next, let's take a look at one that's slightly different. Here's example number two. A car with a mass of 1,600 kilograms, so the mass is 1,600 kilograms, has a kinetic energy, so, okay, so the kinetic energy of 125,000 joules. How fast is it moving? So how fast that's going to be velocity. So I know I'm given the mass, which is 1,600 kilograms. The kinetic energy is 125,000 joules. And my unknown this time is going to be how fast so I'm going to be looking for velocity. I know that the formula that I use here is the same as before. My kinetic energy formula is one-half times the mass times the velocity squared. So when I make my substitution, the kinetic energy is 125,000 joules is equal to one-half the mass, which is 1,600 or 1,600 times, now I'm looking for the velocity, so I just leave my v squared where it is. Now, to solve this equation, I know I have to simplify this side first, so I leave it 125,000 equals half of 1,600 is going to be 800 times v squared, and then it's just a simple equation, divide by 800, divide by 800, and I'm going to be left just over here with my v squared, and I know 125,000 over 800. If I plug that in my calculator, I'm going to get 156.25. Now, am I done? Not quite, because this is v squared, and I'm looking for v by itself. Very simple. I just take the square root to get rid of that square of both sides, and I'm left with v equals, yep, I got it, 12.5 meters per second, which is velocity. And that is two examples of how to apply the kinetic energy formula.